Hi, I'm John Furrier here with theCUBE. This is a CUBE conversation with Rod Bag, VP of Customer Support at Nimble. Um, we're here in Palo Alto studio with theCUBE. Rod, welcome back to uh, CUBE conversation. Thank you, good to be here. Um, I want to talk about um, the industry, uh, some of the changes that are going on. A lot of folks are very interested in, in some of these game-changing uh, moves that companies like Nimble are making in, in, this, in the infrastructure, where you can come out of nowhere with great people, great team, great product, and make a big impact go public. Great entrepreneurial story, really is yeah. fantastic. Um, but it really points to the product market fit and this market is explosive. We got cloud mobile and social. Yeah. You have open source kind of operating at this whole nother level of tier one like software. Um, software engineers are becoming network engineers, network engineers are becoming software engineers, DBAs are sleeping with well everyone. I mean it's crazy, right? The IT market is really changing. Yeah. What is the big thing that's happening from your view? You've been around the block, you've worked in the industry for a long time, uh, you've seen you know cycles of innovation come and go. What's so transformative about what's happening right now? Yeah, so I mean, obviously right now that, that's kind of spurred us on is the new technology of, of cash and, or flash, you know, and using that as, as cash. Um, so, so that, uh, you know, I think has, you know, really, you know, sort of unwound, you know, the whole, you know, way storage is looked at and how, how you solve the storage problem and so on. So I, th I think that's kind of kind of the key thing right now that, that we're a part of is, is obviously the, the cash, um, uh, as, uh, you know, using flash as cash. Um, Beyond beyond that, I mean, the, you know, you, you sort of mentioned this whole, you know, network engineers are now uh, storage engineers. Yeah, it's really interesting. I mean, you know, building a new product based on some new technology like this, or, or any new technology, it really does make you think differently. And so, a lot of the engineers, you know, that that, that we're hiring and so on, they're, they're not, you know, the typical, you know, old school file system engineers. I mean, these guys are. You know, real you know, computer scientists kind of guys that are you know where they're creating secret sauce that has a lot to do with you know very you know sort of in depth uh, how you design data structures to be efficient. Uh, you know, very very nitty gritty you know stuff like like this. That's uh, you know with our CTO for example. You know, from MIT. I mean, it takes that kind of brain power to figure this stuff out and and do it well. And I think it's it's just a very interesting uh, dynamic going on at, at Nimble, especially with with this set of engineers that are, are just dealing with these these new technologies and trying to make them work well. It's obviously, you know, I love the buzzword consumerization of IT. It's been kind of kicked around for a while. I love it because it really points to the future, which is, you know, the notion of a consumer experience in an enterprise is now what everyone wants. Yeah. Applications are driving that. So you now have some great things happening under the covers. Virtualization, you got Flash, you got some of these technologies, you got even <laughs> STN is making, chipping away at some, some progress here. But what is the big thing under the covers, in the engine of innovation, in the, in the architecture, what is the big game-changing trend that you see that, that, that you see is going to be uh, more compel most compelling? So you mentioned Flash. What else do you see happening? Is it the workloads? Is it the virtualization? Is it the software? What yeah, I think, you know, I, I think you know, vir virtualiza virtualization, I think, is a, is a key thing. Um, you know, and that that's kind of obvious. I mean, that that's where where everything is going. I think the other the other thing, I guess, is is really the management of these things. I mean, we, we really try to make it, it very simple. Um, you know, f you know, for the array, but but you you kind of got to look at it at the at the bigger picture now. Again, I think it's you know when you talk to the storage guy, the storage guy really now is responsible for making sure that all these other applications are working well, uh, whether it's the uh, um, uh, you know the database or exchange or whatever you know SAP app is on there you know all this sort of stuff is is really now as it's converging onto the same storage platform and without having all these silos you know how do you really manage all that uh, that stuff and deploy it easily to all of these constituents that are within your company you know as the storage guy I mean I think the storage guy really is becoming the focus point now and and you kind of you know you know, sort of relegate all of the performance requirements and everything else to that once you've converged everything. So you you know you really don't want your DBAs having to worry about performance anymore. They've got enough things to worry about. So I think how you manage all of that, uh, those applications coming together and, and making sure that they're they're running well and so on is, is kind of the key thing. And how you deploy that in this virtualized environment. That's you know again that's sort of a focus that we've had on and making that that easy for our, our yeah. Customers. And you can when our last segment we talked about automation and whatnot. And, and but the buzzword of hybrid cloud is the big thing in the enterprise right now. Right. Hybrid cloud. I mean that's but if you peel back hybrid cloud, you're basically talking about cross management, ID, storage network, app mobility, everything. It's a long list of things. Yeah. They're all kind of interrelated now, so you can't silo out things. Yeah. 
that's a big challenge. How do you see that resolving? I mean, obviously it's not 100% complete, people are coming out with solutions now and platforms, but as a, as a CIO, and I'm looking at this environment saying, hey, I'll do some hybrid cloud, I might want to use Amazon Azure uh, or whatever, uh, yeah. OpenStack, uh, great. I got apps to run, I got storage to deal with. Pretty complicated. How do you, how do you see all this thing playing out? Yeah, I, I guess you know, like today, as it, as it's happening, there's there's obviously a place for those for those cloud storage, you know, Azure and, and the like. Um, I think if you're if you're really looking at, um, you know, high performance, very very latency critical kind of applications, you know, that that sort of uh, you know still fits within the data center. Maybe, maybe you're you're going out to a managed service provider or something to provide that for you separately from some some of the big cloud storage providers that really aren't going to to allow you to, to have that kind of, you know, very low latency, you know, very, um, you know, tightly managed environment that really suits your needs and, and can grow with, with you as you go. Um, so I, I think that's, that'll, you know, it's kind of stays separate, you know, we're, you know, obviously our focus is, is really, you know, making sure that uh, when we, you know, build our product that it's really, as a converged solution, really, you know, providing that, uh, you know, high performance for the mixed wor uh, workloads that you're going to have that are latency critical. So I, I think there's still some separation there, you know, from, from what you get out of a, a cloud storage solution versus you know, something like Nimble. Talk about, to the, talk to the folks out there, the young guns coming into the industry. You know, us old guys have been around the block. We've seen the archaic old IT days, you know, from mainframes through client server to the PC revolution to internet working, all that good stuff. Now the web, now you got this. Uh, you know, the guys coming into the, into, the, into the environment now do have either large scale programming backgrounds. Yeah. They I mean, might be hardware engineers. Um, they might be front end coders. So what, though there might be a DevOps guy, hey, I want integrated yeah. stacks, I want reference design, I want pre-engineered everything. So. When you talk to the young folks out there, what do you say to them? Like, <laughs> you're lucky, or like, <laughs> put your battle gear on. I mean, what do you? What's your advice to the folks out there getting into the business who really want to get in and get get their hands um, around some of this new tech? Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I, I guess you know, if, if they're really the new guys, you know, the key thing is get an internship somewhere at a high tech company, preferably Nimble. But yeah, you know, so we have a lot of interns at Nimble, and it and it, it really is interesting because they're a pretty diverse set of uh, disciplines within com computer science. Um, I mean, there's a lot of them out there, um, but you know, I actually had had a guy that I knew for years, you know, contact me the other day about coming into Nimble, and and you know, the, you really are looking for just talented people that that you know, not necessarily the skill set, but you really want talented people because things change so fast. Um, you know, you you might be think you're skilled at X, but you know, and you won't fit in Y. But it, it's it's not necessarily true. I mean, it's it's you know, once you. I interviewed Tyler Bell at Factual. He was an archaeologist, now a data scientist. Exactly. So it's like you don't know. Musicians yeah, can data be the best. Scientists be are, are typically guys that are from biomed kind of stuff. Uh, you know, because they're dealing with big numbers and they they have a you know a, a brain about analytics and 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 so now they're you know working with SQL databases doing analytics. So. My final question for you is, what are you most excited about right now in, in the industry and in Nimble and all around you, what's orbiting around you, your world, personal uh, tech, stuff you're interested in tech in general and also within within Nimble, yeah. what's, what's super exciting to you? Well, you know, I guess you know, if I look back like four, year, four or five years ago, or even longer when I was at uh, you know another storage company, you know, I just didn't think there was another boom in storage coming. I mean, it just it, <laughs> back then it felt like uh, that's done with. I don't want to be in that that sort of game anymore. Snorage, boring. Yeah, you know. and then you know, and then when I heard from from Varun, you know, about what he was you know starting up with with Nimble, I mean, it's it's it just opened my eyes that there's always a new technology and there's always going to be somebody out there that's that's thinking about how to apply it to a, to an existing problem in a different way and, and solving a different problem. So you know, I think just you know, so I mean, storage absolutely has me excited again. And there's a, a bunch of stuff coming down the the road. I think you know that, that we're looking at, and I'm sure a lot of others are. That I just think you'll see continuous inter innovation, you know, going forward. And uh, you know, I thought it was you know sort of had ended ten years ago, and it's it's back again. So I mean, it's what's the one thing you could say out to customers out there that that's around the corner that might that they might not be aware of that's going to be in their environment that's going to change over the next five or ten years? What radical thing is going to evolve in your opinion? That the customers might not see coming, that'll be goodness for them. Jeez, I don't know on that one. <laughs> like Integrated that. stacks. I mean, I mean, no. In terms of like their environment today, I mean, you guys have yeah. you guys you guys are certainly a disruptive product. What's the next disruption that, that that's coming for, around the corner? Is it management? Is it the new devices? Is it cloud? What's your take on that? I guess I'll rephrase it that way. Yeah, um, you know, I, I I think cloud. You know, will. 
it, it's got so much hype now, it's almost inevitable that something's got to come out of it that, that'll, that'll bene benefit a lot of people, you know, and that, that, you know, sort of that'll be the, the next big wave. Um, beyond, beyond that, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I don't even know at this point. Yeah, well, it's a software world, data, you guys are doing some great stuff with automation. Congratulations on all the uh, success at Nimble. We really love watching you guys. Now you're public, we can actually look at the numbers. <laughs> I know you won't talk about some of the, the, the numbers on, on camera, but we appreciate it. Rod, thanks for joining in this CUBE conversation. All right, great, thank you. Um, John Furrier here in Palo Alto, thanks for watching.